Women who went from a low sex drive to a high sex drive. What happened? I met my husband. I met and fell in love with someone who likes making me orgasm. I no longer feel like I'm not worth the extra effort. Stop birth control then got pregnant. My real hormones are horny. Apparently, got an IUD after having a baby. Slightly lower sex drive. Got it removed. Sex drive through the roof again. I realized I had bipolar instead of depression and I switched to a med that worked. I hit my 40s and oh my god. All roughly around the same time. My youngest finally stopped waking me up at night. My husband got a vasectomy. Switched antidepressants. And I lost weight. I thought I just had a low sex drive until I found a compatible partner. My current partner is very in tune to what I like and how to pleasure me. After I met him, my sex drive skyrocketed. Left an abusive religion and realized women were allowed to enjoy sexuality too. Switched birth control. Finally started having sex with someone that cared about pleasing me. I was drunk and by curious and let a bratty lesbian cream puff top me in the back of her car. Turns out I had just been doing it wrong. I went the opposite way. I went on anxiety meds and stopped smoking W33D. I went through some sort of second puberty. My sex drive isn't super high but had no real interest in sex until I was 24-ish. I found out I was a masochist and a sadist. I finally let go of the insecurities I had regarding sex and gave myself to permission to actually enjoy it. Amazing how your own mindset can either enhance or ruin your experiences. Bupropion 450mg I suffer from anxiety and was starting to feel depressed after my brother passed away. My puppy helped me get past all of it and then it voila, sex drive magically appeared. Boyfriend is very happy. Left the Mormon church and all of its toxicity and shame behind me. Finally realized I'm a lesbian. Changed my birth control. ITT. Lost weight stopped taking the pill or changed to non-hormonal birth control like a copper IUD. Stopped taking antidepressants left terrible boyfriend, partner, husband. Always nice to find post full of PPL who had sex. Such rarity on Reddit. I hit my mid-30s. If you want more information on this topic I highly recommend the book Come As You Are by Emily. Nagoski Recovered from my eating disorder LMAO Crazy what a little bit of body confidence will do for you I quit hormonal birth control What also helps is not drinking alcohol Sex is better without it And eventually you'll want more of it because of that my husband started treating me with a ton of love and affection outside the bedroom. I got a divorce. Try CBD lube. Smiley face. I broke up with my ex and starting dating my current partner. 50 milligrams of Vivance. 
I turned 30. Kicked my lying, abusive, alcoholic, now ex-husband out. Instant aphrodisiac. Got pregnant. Those sweet, sweet hormones. I became bored. I left my husband. Better dick attached to a man that showed an interest in my happiness, comfort, pleasure, stress, etc. Nothing dries a pussy like too much mental load. I chained my battery's winking face. Met someone I really connected with. There's this thing called demisexual. New partners. I started dating a guy who actually knew what he was doing and listened to what I liked LMAO. Lost a shit ton of weight. First I've stopped taking the pill which already made a huge difference. Then met my current partner. Combine that with an LDR. And we make good use of the time we have together. Meh. What about us with no sex drive? Even if I have sex, I am unable to orgasm. Fuck sex. I met a wonderful man who is now my husband. Bipolar mania. Lol. Met my husband. Can't get enough of him. He makes me moan involuntarily by kissing me. Met my boyfriend. Got a better boyfriend. It's okay if you aren't attracted to someone. High sex drive to Lexapro to literally nothing. To no Lexapro to high sex drive. A mutually pleasing relationship. I happened. They get laid. Most of the comments mention that they found someone who enjoyed seeing them finish. Not being selfish will go a long way. My dudes. I found a man that actually made it more enjoyable. I enjoyed it more and found my libido changed. ITT, I actually enjoyed it. Remarried. I got out of a long toxic relationship and realized there were plenty of men out there. It probably helped that my confidence about my appearance came back over time too. Got divorced. Quarantine. Started antidepressants. Changed a lot of things. Came off my antidepressants. Premenopause. I met my current partner. Went from an abusive relationship to a fantastic normal one. Found my sex drive again. I turned 40. Also getting a toy boy might have something to do with it. Honestly the most sexually compatible partner I've ever had. I was pregnant and didn't know it LMFAO. Got on birth control. I got hormone problems. My hormones is like a pregnant lady's hormones so yeah. Started taking maca root powder. Maybe getting more than mind blown. Not knowing versus asterisk asterisk knowing asterisk asterisk. Got happy. It also helps to have a partner who cares. I stopped taking the contraceptive injection and it all came back after one month or so. 
It's sad that people have to ask women questions on R, ask Reddit because the R, ask women sub has become so nitpicky and ridiculous. I discovered my kinks. I met my boyfriend and had the best sex of my life. Fuck very often. He turned me on so much and I love him so much that my sex drive was just super high. I realized that some men can actually find the clitoris. Found out I could make money having sex. Went from three partners in 24 years to 500 people per year. Well, I'm pre-op trans. And I hate my dick. And sexual activity of any kind makes me feel dysphoric. My sex drive will probably increase after bottom surgery because I won't hate my parts anymore. I got off the pill. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe for more content.